In star stable, the backbone of the economy are star coins. These precious coins are your ticket to everything. Horses, pets, clothes, tech, accessories, and anything else you can think of. In this video, I'll guide you through the various methods to earn star coins and share tips on how to manage the ones you actually have and not lose them. While some of these strategies may seem pretty obvious, taking a closer look can lead to surprising insights and changes in your approach. Whether you're a seasoned star rider or just starting out, these tips are for everyone. So anyway, I hope this video helps you and if it does, make sure to subscribe to my channel and now let's get into it. I wanna be so If you're a paying star rider, you receive a weekly allowance of 100 star coins every Saturday. With approximately 52 Saturdays each year, that adds up to a total of 5,200 star coins annually. Saving up this amount could get you at least 5 horses a year, which is quite substantial. A quick disclaimer about the weekly allowance, if you haven't yet purchased the star rider subscription, whether it's lifetime membership or any other type, ensure that the offer explicitly states that it includes 100 star coins weekly. Offers without the allowance may be cheaper upfront, only providing a certain number of star coins upon purchase. While you can purchase an allowance separately for such accounts, it will end up costing you much more in the long run. So just make sure that the star rider that looks a little cheaper states that you get a bonus of how many star coins upon purchase, as well as a weekly star coin allowance. Furthermore, if you haven't upgraded to a lifetime star rider yet, I highly recommend it for long-term saving, but hold off on purchasing it immediately. Instead, wait until the latter half of each month when Star Stable typically offers 30% discount. Since becoming a star rider isn't cheap, saving some money on this upgrade is always the best option in my opinion. And again, this discount offer occurs monthly, so keep an eye out for it. And again, I just highly recommend taking advantage of it. Another way to acquire star coins in Star Stable is through redeem codes. In the past, we used to receive numerous codes annually for special events, holidays, or whenever Star Stable felt like it. However, the frequency of these codes has significantly decreased, and now we're lucky if we get one code per year. The only code we can expect from now on is the Christmas Star Coin code, which grants you 300 free star coins. As the name implies, this code is released during the Christmas holiday season and is only valid for a couple of days. Therefore, around that time, be sure to keep an eye out in the game and on social media to ensure you don't miss out on it. When combined with your weekly allowance, this code provides a total of 5,500 star coins per year. Additionally, this free star coin code is particularly useful for non-star riders who don't receive the weekly allowance, and with some saving up, even non-star riders can eventually afford to buy a horse. I have a lot of alt accounts where I don't do much other than just redeeming the codes, and sometimes I'm really pleasantly surprised with a couple hundred, maybe even star coins and that always leads to a shopping spree. Okay, so forget everything I just said about star coin codes. Yes, Star Stable does release star coin codes with which you can get free star coins, but they have actually started giving us more codes. I recorded this video at the end of January, and then in February, Star Stable decided to give us so many star coin codes. I believe in total we're going to get like six or seven star coin codes. So I guess you should still keep an eye out on social media every now and again to see if Star Stable is giving out free star star coins. I wanna be someone here underneath the sun. I'm gonna if you're eager to purchase new horses, pets, or outfits and can't wait for your allowance or new codes, you'll likely consider buying some star coins. You can acquire them on Star Civil's website, but they can be quite expensive, especially when bought in smaller quantities. I completely understand that some people may find them unaffordable, but if you can save up your money and wait, I highly recommend waiting until you can purchase the largest star coin bundle, which contains 5,000 star coins. 
buying 100 star coins which is the smallest amount will cost you around four times more than if you bought 5,000 star coins in a bulk. Another very significant tip to always consider before purchasing star coins is to do so during the double star coins weekend. This special offer occurs at the end of each month during which if you buy for example 100 star coins you'll receive additional 100 star coins for free. As the name suggests you get double amount meaning if you buy 5,000 star coins you'll actually end up receiving 10,000 making it the best offer available. As I mentioned, this offer occurs every last weekend of the month and whenever Starstable announces it, you'll see countless comments from people who just bought star coins. so make sure you're not one of them, wait until the last weekend and get double the star coins for the same amount of money. The final method to obtain star coins and to get them completely free is through giveaways. Sometimes Star Sable hosts these giveaways, but more often they're organized by other members of the community. You can find them on various social media platforms, with Instagram being the most popular. However, with giveaways not officially hosted by Star Stable, there's always a risk of them being fake, especially if they're from account with not many followers. I would always advise to be skeptical if they don't have many followers if they don't post regularly or if they seem a little sketchy. When participating in a giveaway, make sure to meet all of the requirements to actually participate, then cross your fingers and hope for the best. Participating particularly in smaller giveaways with fewer participants can be a great way to win a few hundred or even thousands of star coins. Many people miss a step or two automatically disqualifying themselves from the draw, so your odds can be pretty good if you're diligent. I recently held some giveaways and the codes look something like this, so make sure to never give out your email or password as your account could be compromised, stay cautious, and best of luck to everyone with giveaways. Now that we've covered all the ways to actually acquire star coins, let's delve into how to preserve the ones you already have. It's easy to overlook these considerations and spend small amounts here and there, but they do add up if your goal is to not spend money and accumulate a substantial number of horses without dipping into real life funds. It's essential to hold yourself accountable and save up. You can track your spending of star coins by jotting down all the way you use them on paper or in your notes. Alternatively, you can simply keep them in mind and recall them the next time you're tempted to spend some. Recently, Starsible introduced the Bazaar, a marketplace where you can not only find limited items but also discounted horses. They offer a 30% discount on select Gen 3 breeds, many of which were recently released, although they have slowed down with the releases of Bazaar as of the past few months. Last year, they also decided to discount all the older magical horses released before 2023. Additionally, there's a retirement discount for older horses right right before they leave the game, and older horses also receive a discount when their breed gets an update. So for example, when the Hanoverian that's currently in Gen 2 gets updated to Gen 3, the Gen 2 will get a discount. The outfits during some limited time events look so amazing, so the temptation to buy them as soon as possible with star coins is very strong. While acquiring Jorvik shillings may seem daunting, certain tasks can yield a substantial amount with relatively little effort. I've previously shared videos detailing methods to earn Jorvik shillings, so be sure to check out those if you're facing any difficulties. As enticing as it may be to just quickly buy the newest outfit, as soon as it comes out, it might be worth to wait until the last week of the festival or event to see how many you can get with your week shillings and then just buy the rest with star coins and you are definitely going to be saving a lot. I wanna be 
With the ever-expanding roster of horses in the game, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the variety of options available. That's why I highly recommend creating a horse wishlist. By doing that, you'll have a centralized place to keep track of breeds and coat colors you desire. Additionally, you can also choose the horse's name and whether or not you're going to change their mane and tail style. Maintaining a wishlist allows you to easily monitor if any of your desired horses are discounted and provides an opportunity to explore additional resources to ensure you truly want the horse. Consider factors such as the model, gates, animations, and whether the horse aligns with your preferences. I wanna be someone here underneath the sun. I'm gonna One rule I had for the longest time in SSO was to not buy a new horse before the last one I bought was level 15. Nowadays, since horses reach maximum speed at level 13, this rule may translate to waiting until the horse is level 13. However, the essence of the rule remains unchanged. Training your horse to its maximum level allows you to truly appreciate its capabilities and bond with it, rather than simply acquiring it, riding it for a day, and then letting it rot in your home stable. Additionally, this approach enables you to accumulate some extra star coins along the way, provided the training the horse takes at least a week. When a new breed hits the scene, it's natural to feel the urge to jump right in and buy it. After all, it's a fresh addition, boasting unique gates, special movements, a distinct model, and a range of captivating coat colors. Who wouldn't want to add such a striking horse to their collection? However, it's crucial to pause and consider your motivations. Are you drawn to the new breed because you genuinely appreciate its qualities, or is the allure fueled by the excitement and the buzz surrounding its release? It's easy to get swept up in the frenzy when you log on and see everyone riding the newest edition, and when your social media feeds are flooded with images and videos showcasing the new breed. I really recommend waiting for one week before making a purchase from the new horse release. The waiting period allows you to step back and evaluate your decision with a clear mind. As the initial excitement subsides, you'll have the opportunity to reflect on whether you really like your horse or if you like the idea of just having the horse. Because at the end, you might decide that you'd just rather wait for Star Sibyl's next release. I wanna be someone Another personal rule I adhere to is maintaining a quote-unquote star coin balance. Essentially, I've established a maximum threshold for my star coin balance, which I strictly adhere to. For instance, my limit is set at a thousand star coins, and I've resolved not to dip below this number. I know this can sound a little silly, especially when I say that I can't buy a horse, even though I do have enough star coins for a horse, but I'd like to imagine this 1000 star coins as some kind of emergency fund. For example, if a horse breed that I really love is leaving SSO so I can buy all of the horses that I want, or if there's a limited time event and I don't want to spend like my real money buying star coins, I know that I always have 1000 star coins saved up so I can buy a limited time horse if I really wish to. I wanna be someone here underneath the sun. This point intertwines with several others emphasizing the importance of avoiding unnecessary spending of star coins. Chances are your home stable is already brimming with a plethora of horses, pets, clothes, tack, accessories, and everything else. Instead of constantly seeking out new acquisitions, take a moment to pursue your existing collection. You may be surprised by the hidden treasures waiting to be rediscovered. So many times you can see people with the most amazing outfits and while some pieces are really unique, others are really not. I swear, I have so many bridles, saddles, pants and boots or just regular shoes that look exactly the same. Maybe, for example, I have boots that are literally the same color, just like one small detail is a different color. One is silver, one is gold. Other things are literally one shade darker or lighter, so just really recommend going into your closet to see what you already have because you might find something that looks basically the same as something else you wanted to buy 
high and also just check your stalls and the pasture and you might want to give some horse that used to be your favorite before the newer releases a ride especially if they're not maxed I wanna be someone here underneath the sun while it can be frustrating to ride slower horses, I strongly advise against purchasing stable care. At a cost of 7 star coins per day, investing in this service can quickly deplete your allowance. Moreover, if you predominantly ride the same horses and aren't actively engaging in racing, the benefits may not justify the expense. Here, I really recommend to just manually take care of the few horses that you ride and it is going to save you so much in the long run. Also, SSO kind of frequently gives us Happy Horse Week where you do get free stable care. Consider exploring the new Terra update, which introduces potions that can enhance your horse's mood until you log out. This alternative offers a cost-effective way to optimize your horse's performance without resorting to purchasing stable care. I wanna be someone here underneath the sun. One major rule I established for myself years ago, literally since the beginning of SSO, is to only spend star coins on horses. I know this may seem boring, and I mean, if there's something that I really liked, I might buy it with star coins. I mean, okay, not now. And I guess this can seem a little restrictive, but I literally have as many horses as I do because of this. And as nice as it is to purchase the newest outfits and you know, just look absolutely amazing. I just feel like riding the newest horse just, I don't know, to me feels better. I've probably spent star coins on something other than horses less than 10 times and I, I, yeah, I think it was a good decision. I know so many people who have been playing for years and have been star riders for years and only have a handful of horses because they just cannot keep themselves from spending star coins and I just feel like it's a waste. I mean, at the end of the day, it's your decision, but if you really like horses, I do think this is the best route to take, but anyway, this route wraps up our guide on how to acquire and preserve star coins in Star Stable. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye! I wanna be someone.